Hey everybody, this is Aaron Alsop with Cinemaspice.net and today I want to show you the new live text feature available in the updated Adobe Premiere CC. The live text feature is this really great new feature that allows you to use After Effects templates in Premiere and dynamically change the text. So for example, you can use it for lower thirds, titles, and whatever you use that use text. It's pretty awesome. Instead of talking about it, I'm just going to show you how to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import your template. So I've got it here saved to the desktop with a bunch of other different things. And I'm going to import that. And this box is going to show up. That's going to have all the different compositions in there. So you may have an After Effects template. And it's going to show all the different compositions in there. You know, for this one, I just have the lower third. I'll import it. And it comes in right here. Now, I'll bring it in right here on top of my footage that we want the lower third on. Now I'm just going to trim this up here real quick so we can render it and you guys can see what it looks like in real time. And here's the clip. There we go. So we got a pretty simple, straightforward lower third, animates in, text types on, animates out. So I just created this in After Effects, saved it. Now, this is the point where we want to, you know, change it because nobody's going to have that first last name uh, with the company name of Cinema Spice. Now, if you click here, you'll notice that the effects control just controls the motion like everything else. To change the title, you need to go into your project for that text, double click it, and then go to the effects control of that and you'll see this come up. So you'll have the company name and the full name. So let's say your full name is Turd Ferguson. I spelled that wrong. Still might have spelled that wrong. And let's say the company you work for is Ferguson and Sons. And you click off it, and you'll see that the title's changed. And it'll still animate in. So what are some other good uses for this? Well, let's say instead of being a lower third, you want to tell people about a website that they can go to. Well, what you can do is if you hit Alt on a Mac, I believe Alt on a PC as well. I haven't used a PC to edit uh, since I was in high school. And when you click and drag the clip, it creates a copy of it that you can see in your projects folder. So the nice thing about that is, is you have this one. You'll double click that so it comes in your source monitor so you can go to the effects control. Well, you double click this one, now you've got a completely different one that you can change. So let's say instead of the company name, you wanna have the kind of describing why you should go to the website. So download this lower third for free and then the full name we'll put the website cinemaspice.net so then we can go here and you can see that we've got cinemaspice.net download this lower let's let it animate in all the way lower third for free and that is true. Click the link and then it'll bring you to the page so you can download this lower third for free. If you don't have the updated Premiere, it's not going to work. So don't get mad at me when you're like, hey, I tried using this in Final Cut 7 and it's not working. You need the new updated Premiere for this to work. That real quick is the new live text. It's really simple to use. If you, you know, this is going to be really great. Let's say you're doing a corporate video and you've got one lower third, but you've got five different people. Instead of going into After Effects, changing out all their names, exporting them all, 
or you know doing the dynamic link you can just bring this into Premiere or this is also really great if you yourself aren't the most versed in After Effects maybe you'll have somebody create a lower third for you you'll get the template you'll get the After Effects project file and you can bring it in and all you have to do is just change the names if you're curious to know more about the mask tracking I've got a video explaining that and if you're also curious about the new master clip with Adobe Premiere I've got another video talking about that so click those and you'll be able to watch that make sure to subscribe if you got much more tutorials like this also like I said make sure to go over to cinemaspice.net and download this lower third for free and you can also check out the many other different video overlays, After Effects presets, lens flares, backgrounds, and anything you need to spice up your films at cinemaspice.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.